problem 6. Laura added two three-digit positive integers together. All six digits in these numbers are, are different. Laura's sum is a three-digit number s. What is the smallest possible value for the sum of digits of s? Work backwards. You want to find the smallest sum of s. So consider the optimization. How do we get the sum to be as small as possible? Well, they're digits, so they must be within 0 and 9. So what is the smallest digit within this range? Obviously, it's 0. So we want as many digits to be 0 as possible. So we want the units to be 0, this to be 0, because s doesn't have to be unique, only the sum is unique. But what about the hundredth place? That can't be 0, because then we get what? That's 0. So basically, the hundredths must be at least a 1. And so optimally, we want this configuration. But we obviously know that will result in you know, two two-digit numbers add together to get this, but the original um, numbers are three-digit as well, and so we cannot have this. It has to be at least two, right? But then again, what do we also know? We know that if this were to be two zeros, that the sum of the tens digit must give zero. So there's going to be a carryover of one, but obviously we cannot have one and zero, right? So therefore, it cannot be two either. The minimum has to be a three hundred. Obviously, you want to try to get a 300, but that makes sense too, right? Because if we want to minimize it, we want to minimize the original sum, A and B. Let's say A and B are the original two-digit numbers. We want the hundredth digit to be as small as possible. That way, we can get, you know, what we want right here, what we want right there. So, basically, we want this to be, hopefully, 1 and 2. But then again, we also know that we want to create zeros for as many digits as possible. But we want the units and tens digit to be 0. And so, the sum of these of, of this two digit and this two digit number must give an 100. But since one and two are the smallest terms for the hundredth digit, that means there has to be a carryover of one. And so the one plus one plus two gives the smallest hundredth digit of four within the value s. And that would be your solution of four, so that would be choice B.